Shalom and welcome to PowerPoints. Oh, I tell you, in this world today, you really have to stay focused on keeping your hope alive. Hope is like, a, uh, right now, it, it's, it's like a small sapling, uh, a small little plant breaking through the crust of the earth. And, uh, you know, when, when hope starts to break through in a situation, or a plant starts to break the crust of the earth, that's when it's most vulnerable to a freeze or a drought or heat. And that's how the enemy is. Anytime the enemy sees that you're starting to say, okay, I'm going to watch these PowerPoints, and I'm going to start watering and protecting my hope. Hope needs to be not grown outside. Hope needs to be grown in the greenhouse of your heart. You need to have like a, a protective mechanism over hope. Hope needs to have a special place in your heart where you say, you know what? I am not going to let the outside weather, the heat, the frozen, freezing, whatever it is, too much rain, not enough rain. I am going to take hope and I'm going to raise it up in my life in a controlled atmosphere. I'm going to put hope right here in the center and I'm going to plant hope in the love of God the Father. I'm just take it's a seed. I'm going to plant it in this good soil like this. I'm going to water it with the words of Jesus. And I am going to let the ministering angels be around and about it for protection. And it says in 2 Corinthians 3.12, Since we have such a hope, we are very bold. If you want to be bold and you want to have courage and you want to have be unshaken during the circumstances of this of this world right now it's it's almost like the news media all of it not just hollywood but every news it's like it's like satan is turning the knobs and saying let's kill the hope of of america let's kill the hope in europe and you have to decide that i'm taking my hope i'm planting it in a safe place in my heart and it's, I'm going to keep it safe from all this bad news. I'm not saying you're hiding from life, but you need to keep hope in a special place so you'll remain bold, strong in the Lord. Father God, in the name of Yeshua, we thank you that hope makes us bold. Water, hope with your impartation of wisdom to how to maintain it today in Yeshua's name. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.